Constantine IX Monomachos, Latinized as Constantine IX Monomachus Medieval Greek, Constantinos th Monomachos translate. Constantinos ix Monomachos, c. 1000–11 January 1055, reigned as Byzantine Emperor from of June 1042 to of January 1055. He had been chosen by the Empress Zoe as a husband and co-emperor in 1042, although he had been exiled for conspiring against her previous husband, Emperor Michael IV the Paphlagonian. They ruled together until Zoe died in 1050. During Constantine's reign, the Byzantine Empire fought wars against groups which included the Kievan Rus and the Seljuk Turks. In the year before his death, the split between the Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches took place. Early life Constantine Monomachos was the son of Theodosios Monomachos, an important bureaucrat under Basil II and Constantine VIII. At some point, Theodosios had been suspected of conspiracy and his son's career suffered accordingly. Constantine's position improved after he married his second wife, a niece of Emperor Romanos III Argyros. Catching the eye of Empress Zoe, Constantine was exiled to Mytilene on the island of Lesbos by her second husband, Michael IV. The death of Michael IV and the overthrow of Michael V in 1042 led to Constantine being recalled from his place of exile and appointed as a judge in Greece. However, prior to commencing his appointment, Constantine was summoned to Constantinople, where the fragile working relationship between Michael V's successors, the empresses Zoe and Theodora, was breaking down. After two months of increasing acrimony between the two, Zoe decided to search for a new husband, thereby hoping to prevent her sister from increasing her popularity and authority. After her first preference displayed contempt for the empress and her second died under mysterious circumstances, Zoe remembered the handsome and urbane Constantine. The pair were married on the 11th of June 1042, without the participation of Patriarch Alexius I of Constantinople, who refused to officiate over a third marriage for both spouses. On the following day, Constantine was formally proclaimed emperor together with Zoe and her sister Theodora. Reign Constantine continued the purge instituted by Zoe and Theodora, removing the relatives of Michael V from the court. The new emperor was pleasure-loving and prone to violent outbursts on suspicion of conspiracy. He was heavily influenced by his mistress, Maria Skolreina, a relative of his second wife, and Maria's family. Constantine had another mistress, a certain Alan Princess, probably Irene, daughter of the Georgian Bagratid prince Demetrius. In August 1042, under the influence of the scleroi the emperor relieved General George Maniacus from his command in Italy, and Maniacus rebelled, declaring himself emperor in September. He transferred his troops into the Balkans and was about to defeat Constantine's army in battle, when he was wounded and died on the field, ending the crisis in 1043. Immediately after the victory, Constantine was attacked by a fleet from Kievan Rus. It is incontrovertible that a Rus detachment took part in the Maniacus rebellion. They too were defeated, with the help of Greek fire. Constantine married his relative Anastasia to the future Prince Sevalid I of Kiev, the son of his opponent Yaroslav I the Wise. Constantine's family name Monomachos, one who fights alone, was inherited by Sevalid and Anastasia's son, Vladimir II Monomak. Constantine IX's preferential treatment of Maria Skolreina in the early part of his reign led to rumors that she was planning to murder Zoe and Theodora. This led to a popular uprising by the citizens of Constantinople in 1044, which came dangerously close to actually harming Constantine, who was participating in a religious procession along the streets of Constantinople. The mob was only quieted by the appearance at a balcony of Zoe and Theodora, who reassured the people that they were not in any danger of assassination. In 1045, Constantine annexed the Armenian kingdom of Ani, but this expansion merely exposed the empire to new enemies. In 1046, the Byzantines came into contact for the first time with the Seljuk Turks. They met in battle in Armenia in 1048 and settled a truce the following year. Even if the Seljuk rulers were willing to abide by the treaty, their unruly Turkoman allies showed much less restraint. The Byzantine forces suffered a cataclysmic defeat at the Battle of Manzikert in 1071. Constantine began persecuting the Armenian Church, trying to force it into union with the Orthodox Church. 
In 1046, he refounded the University of Constantinople by creating the Departments of Law and Philosophy. In 1047 Constantine was faced by the rebellion of his nephew Leo Tornikios in Adrianople. Tornikios was forced to retreat, failed in another siege, and was captured during his flight. The revolt had weakened Byzantine defences in the Balkans, and in 1048 the area was raided by the Pechenegs, who continued to plunder it for the next five years. The emperor's efforts to contain the enemy through diplomacy merely exacerbated the situation, as rival Pechenig leaders clashed on Byzantine ground, and Pechenig settlers were allowed to live in compact settlement in the Balkans, making it difficult to suppress their rebellion. Constantine seems to have taken recourse to the Pronoia system, a sort of Byzantine feudal contract in which tracts of land or the tax revenue from it were granted to particular individuals in exchange for contributing to and maintaining military forces. Constantine could be wasteful with the imperial treasury. On one occasion he is said to have sent an Arab leader 500,000 gold coins, over two tons of gold. In 1054 the centuries-old differences between the Greek and Roman churches led to their final separation. Legates from Pope Leo IX excommunicated the Patriarch of Constantinople Michael Carolarios when Carolarios would not agree to adopt Western church practices, and in return Carolarios excommunicated the legates. This sabotaged Constantine's attempts to ally with the Pope against the Normans, who had taken advantage of the disappearance of Maniacus to take over southern Italy. Constantine tried to intervene, but he fell ill and died on the 11th of January of the following year. He was persuaded by his counselors, chiefly the Logothetes Tou Dromu John, to ignore the rights of the elderly Theodora, daughter of Constantine VIII, and to pass the throne to the Duke of Bulgaria, Nikephoros Protuan. However, Theodora was recalled from her retirement and named Empress. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Architecture and Art. The literary circle at the court of Constantine the Ninth included the philosopher and historian Michael Pisellos, whose Chronographia records the history of Constantine's reign. Pisellos left a physical description of Constantine in his Chronographia. He was ruddy as the sun, but all his breast, and down to his feet were colored the purest white all over, with exquisite accuracy. When he was in his prime, before his limbs lost their virility, anyone who cared to look at him closely would surely have likened his head to the sun in its glory, so radiant was it, and his hair to the rays of the sun, while in the rest of his body he would have seen the purest and most translucent crystal. Immediately upon ascending to the throne in 1042, Constantine IX set about restoring the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, which had been substantially destroyed in 1009 by Caliph al-Hakim by Amr Allah. Permitted by a treaty between al-Hakim's son Ali as Zahir and Byzantine Emperor Romanos III, it was Constantine IX who finally funded the reconstruction of the Church and other Christian establishments in the Holy Land. See also List of Byzantine emperors <laughs>